Let's take a moment to talk about our sponsor. This video is going to be all about my brand partnership with Lubiana Tourism. Thank you so much to Lubiana Tourism for sponsoring this video, inviting me to come visit your beautiful city and region, and for being wonderful to work with. You haven't heard of Ljubljana. It is the capital of Slovenia. It is a city of about 300,000 people. We are driving to Slovenia, to Ljubljana. I'm so excited. This is actually going to be my third time in Ljubljana, but the first time doing all the things that we're about to do. Two more hours. Ljubljana is a beautiful historic city. There is an old town area, including a castle. And we love European castles. What we did when we got there was we checked into the hotel. We stayed at the Occidental Hotel, which is very close to the city center, everything we wanted to do. And there were some accessibility features in the room which I was excited to see. A lot of them were for wheelchair users, but I appreciate knowing about them and seeing that they exist. Some of those were, for example, a shower that you could roll into, a mirror that you can angle up and down so you can see yourself when you're in the bathroom, lights that are automatic instead of needing to be turned on with a light switch, so those are just some of the features. All right, Lumiana. So many cool things to learn about. Hiking trails. Oh, we have the dragon. I'm learning about the tourist card that we are going to get to try. Look at this cute pen. Oh, this is such a nice welcome. On the first day of our trip with Visit Lumiana, we went to a very cool event called the Open Kitchen food festival and it has been running for over a decade and it happens every Friday from um, like spring or summer month to I think October. So it is seasonal. The way that it's set up is kind of like a food festival where many restaurants and businesses from the area are participating and they're showcasing their best dishes. So some of them might only have one thing that they're offering, some might have a few. When we arrived, I could see this event was so busy, so popular, there were people everywhere. And I was a little bit nervous about being able to, first of all, access the event and also be able to film it and document it. But what we found out is that we were actually doing a special tasting menu, which is something that they offer. Anybody can do this if you show up. So what happened was we were seated at a table and they selected and brought multiple courses to us. And I ate fully vegetarian that evening. It was not a problem for them. I tried some octopus, but my menu, all the courses were vegetarian and it was delicious. Oh, that was really fun to be able to try dishes from different restaurants. And also it was accessible for me because I did not have to navigate the crowds and understand information. Like even understanding like what each stall was offering and then what I want would have taken me a lot of time. So that was really awesome to experience. And it was fun. It was fun to feel part of a local event. Like it did not feel that like we were at a tourist event. So that was awesome. After that, we went to a wine bar. So we got more uh, Slovenian wine um, and they also had French cheeses. They really put out a whole spread for us and showcased their different appetizers and options. So that was a beautiful experience, very nice service. And it's also fun to be part of the nightlife and see everyone out and about enjoying the city. So many people are sitting outside near the Lubyanka River. All right, so day two on Saturday was our first full day in Ljubljana. We took a private boat ride on the Lubyanica River. It was so relaxing and beautiful. Time for a private boat ride on the Lubyanica River. It is so beautiful here. The river itself is really romantic and lovely because you have the drooping trees, they have a lot of weeping willows, they have multiple bridges, and all of them have different styles. And when you're on the boat, you're just underneath the bridges and you're getting to see the city in a different way it was really striking to me how quickly you feel like you're in nature. Ljubljana is really connected closely to nature. It's not really 
a sprawling city, I would say. Like, you can go very quickly out into the countryside. So I thought that was such a lovely way to start the day. And we didn't even know it was a private tour. So that was awesome. We were able to have a tour guide who, the local expert, I explained lots of things about the history. After that, we went to Ljubljana Castle, which is up on a hill, as most castles are and learn so much history. It's really cool how they're using the space today. It's not just a castle. We took the cable car up the hill and that obviously is helpful for people who are not going to be wanting to walk up. They have restaurants, they have a jazz club, they have lots of things going on there. And I even stuck in a matcha latte before we met our guide. So at the castle we saw, I think the highlights were an old Roman well. So cool, that was a secret. And there also was a secret passageway to escape the castle. So we learned all about that. And those were the true stories that I remember the most. I noticed that there were some accessibility features for sure. We also saw a touch model of the castle, so I interacted with that, and it did have real labels on it. So after that, we went to lunch at Restaurant Most. This was my second time eating at Restaurant Most, so it was really, really good. We had a lunch menu, I got the fish menu. The food on the whole trip was incredible, top notch. Very light and airy, and they have roasted pumpkin seeds, which kind of bring a little saltiness and kind of sweetness. Wonderful. So after lunch, we went to the region for the first time to a museum called the Morostig, and it's very new. Everything was new and modern there. Now, what they're showcasing there are a historical site that is protected by the UNESCO World Heritage uh, list or designation. And these are pile dwelling settlements in the Alps. Now I was very confused about like, what pile dwelling is, but now I know a pile dwelling is a house that's raised up and the piles are actually like the stakes or I don't know, the, the wooden poles that keep it up. So yeah, they have built a demonstration site which shows this and what these houses looked like. So we got to not only do the museum, but also visit this demonstration site, uh, which is out in nature and also shows like the landscape of what it would have been like, because these houses were built by water, marshy, bog areas that were there in, in olden times. So that was fascinating. Uh, from the left, uh, okay. from the left, in the middle, we will, we will find rivers. So the, the one with the they made uh, these for for wearing uh, oh, like really? tunics tunics okay yeah that's right are on our way to dine at a very special Michelin star restaurant and it is in the Slovenian countryside. So we're driving about 35 minutes out of Ljubljana to the Kostir family farm and the restaurant is called Grič. That's as close as I'm gonna get right now and I am looking forward to an elevated dining experience I love food so much and I love when it's creative, when it's really unique and offering something different. So what I read on our itinerary is that 
these are dishes that are creative and minimalist takes on traditional Slovenian um, countryside food. There's also an organic farm that the family has where the chef gets a lot of ingredients from and as well as from other farms in the area. The menu changes with the season, which is the best way to um, cook and to dine. And it was a multi-course menu uh, where everything was really connected to the land, farm to table, because there is a family farm associated with the restaurant and we ate so well. <laughs> they presented every course. We had wine pairings. We also got to see the lower level where they preserve food. They're doing everything on their own and it's very natural, which I love. So that was an incredible experience. I think I was just like captivated by the menu. Everything was really creative and dazzled me. So yeah, I cannot say enough good things about Grish. I'll probably be dreaming about Grish for years to come and plotting my way back. But I definitely want to go back. On Sunday, we went to a nature reserve that we were able to hike in and start to observe lots of birds because I did not know this, but Slovenia is on the migratory pathway for birds as they spend different seasons between Africa and this area of Europe. And what I learned is that the birds need, they don't want to be crossing like large bodies of water. They're looking for continuous pathways of land. So they really go like one of two directions in Europe. They go towards Spain or they go over here where Slovenia is, Slovenia pathway. So yeah, we met someone who works there. The ornithologist told us so much, um, just taught us so much. We also got to see how he is um, helping the birds because they're banding them. And there they call it ringing. And that's how they track them. They measure them, they weigh them, and they release them. So they have nets to capture them, then they put them in bags to hold them, and then they do everything they need to do, and then they release them. So I helped release three birds. <laughs> I was not expecting that. I had no idea that was happening, including the beautiful kingfisher bird. It was stunning. We're here in nature, currently at the Frog Village in this beautiful place. And um, I just was walking down here with my cane. It is a wooden path with boards and it's very flat. So while I started with sweeping my cane, it's not really necessary when I know the path is flat and it makes a lot of noise. So then I just started walking like this and I kind of just tap my cane. And that is because I get tired of holding it up the whole time. So <laughs> instead of like holding it and walking, I just keep a rhythm. And that's what I do when I don't really need to sweep. Remember when you're traveling um, and I'm using this cane all day, so my wrist will get tired if I'm aggressively sweeping, sweeping, sweeping all day. So I choose to use the cane in the way that works for me. And so I thought that was interesting to, to share with you. We're on a raft and it's really, really cool. We're floating. There's a rope system that can pull the raft across and then also back. Um, and it's based, the design is based on the lily pad. After that, we went to um, Bistra Castle, which um, is a historic castle, another one. The restaurant that we went to, we also got a lunch menu and I actually really love their salad. I also really love the soup and we got some pumpkin seed oil in there, drizzled on the soup. Yeah, we had a really nice meal there. Castle now houses the Technical Museum of Slovenia, which is showing different industries, the machinery they use, it's giving that history. To touch at the museum.
So here we're learning about the unique way that wood was moved after the end of the season where the wood was stacked up on the side and this door here would block all the water from the river but then when they were ready to move the wood they would let the water flow and take it all down so that it could be shipped and moved. We're looking at the bent wood chairs now, which were mass produced. Mm -hmm. And it's really interesting for me to check out this chair because it looks like a chair that we still have today. And I feel like I've definitely seen this chair many places. Maybe with different um, kind of aspects here, maybe a cushion or I don't know how to describe it, but like a leather seat. And then this is a machine that was used to create the bent wood pieces. Today we're touching with the white glove provided at the museum. Just to demonstrate what kind of accessibility is available here, the Technical Museum of Slovenia. There is also an area with automobiles and they have a whole automobile collection from uh, a former political figure. And that evening, we stayed in Ljubljana city and we went to a restaurant called Brick. And at Brick, I had a lovely meal, another one, and it was just very cozy and relaxing. I really love the desserts here. I thought the dessert menu was so creative and at the same time comforting. It was a nice balance between, okay, I'm gonna give you some really interesting desserts, but they're gonna be very comforting and nice. So yeah, Greg was awesome. All right, the next day, Monday, it was raining. So we had to change away from our initial plan, which was to visit Velika Planina, which is a very cool, like historic sheep herding area. What we did instead was we went to a thermal spa called Thermes uh, Snovic. We were welcomed with herbal tea. Then I received a knipe water effusion treatment, I think it was called, where they put like cold water on my uh, extremities to generate circulation. Uh, then I got to swim and the pool. And then I received a treatment which involved massage and hay wrap. I received a hay wrap, which was really I felt like just pressing something on me. It wasn't really more intense. I, I thought it was just very relaxing. So I loved the treatments and I thought the spa was so beautiful. There's a huge window just opening to nature and it is high up. Uh, so they also have like camping, they have different things that they're doing there. They have an herbal garden and we really enjoy learning about what they're doing. That day we were met by a guide who told us all about Velika Planina and educated us on the history of the sheep herding and what's going on there, the housing, you know, how they cooked, what the shepherds did. And then we learned about a traditional cheese called trinich that they make in a very specific way. Uh, so I'm Sonia Kropiusik. I come from farm Pergabrsh. On our farm, we make uh, cheese, and one of the types of cheese we make is uh, also ternich. So we will be making ternich today. Oh, that is cheese? Yes. Wow. This is all types of cheese. Oh, this is all the same cheese. Some are smaller, some are bigger. The shape is an uh, onion shape or pear shape. So I got to make my own. It was really, really interesting. It's kind of like a Parmesan. Like she grated some of it, and we got to taste it. So uh, I, that was really cool. And they put designs in them. They have these wooden kind of stencils, I guess. I, I don't really know how to call it, but there are designs on them and you press them on your cheese when you're making it. And that's one of the things that makes it unique. Another thing that makes it unique is the shape, which is more bulbous on the top and like narrower on the bottom. And they put a point at the top. This is my finished Chinich cheese. I have been informed that it will feed the chickens and I'm very happy about that. And this is the pattern that I use and I press into it. That's a carnation flower, according to Sonia. That evening, we got to go to Ljubljana Castle for one of their restaurants, which is called Strelik. But that is a really high up restaurant. It's Michelin star. There was a beautiful view of the city and we received multiple courses. We also got to meet the chef. The chef came out and greeted us, which was super nice and just enjoyed an extraordinary meal so much. 
artistry and the food and the service was amazing our waiter was so funny like you're not going to see that in the video but he was just he was so funny and it just tickled me every time he came out just like his facial expressions how he talked to us um so yeah i had a lot of fun and also you're eating in a castle i mean the scenery around you is historic and um, gorgeous and you get to imagine that you're back in time so that's a very unique experience very light. On our last day in Ljubljana, we did some shopping. We walked around the market. We just retraced a little bit of what we had seen in the historic area. And I bought some little goodies to keep with me. Overall, I had an incredible experience in Ljubljana. I really appreciate that they care about accessibility, just like any place everyone's on an accessibility journey it takes time you're always evolving you're always trying to do more but i really appreciate what i saw that they were already doing and i'm so pleased that i was able to go and highlight that and amplify this beautiful city so okay put lubiana on your travel bucket list put it on your list i hope that you will go and you will have an amazing time and let me know, what else do you want to know about Ljubljana? Thank you again to Ljubljana Tourism for inviting me on this wonderful trip. I had such a good time. I can't wait to go back to Ljubljana. If you want to see more videos on inclusive and accessible travel, subscribe to Blindish Latina and let me know all your questions in the comments and I will see you next time.